Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for joining. And I am 35 weeks and 3 days pregnant. I did a video on Sunday, but I had my OBGYN appointment. Is that better? <laughs> Anyways, I had my OBGYN appointment today and I thought I would just do one after that, just to, like talk about it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't want him new symptoms, I guess, just moving and walking sometimes like my bladder gets really full I get like really achy and stuff so like I have to go to the bathroom and then like my pelvic bone I guess is like stretching it's been hurting for a really long time since like 20 something weeks I remember asking my mom who's a nurse um, I was like this hurts really bad it's like great you should go with your pelvic bone I'm kind of moving so that gets really oh my gosh excuse me really sore and um, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm on my ball, sorry. So I'm like right near the camera. Anyways, uh, but she moves a lot. Sometimes it's really painful. Like she'll jab me in the rib or sometimes it'll be like way down low, like knocking at the door sometimes. <laughs> that's what it feels like. But I got my diapers washed and stuff like that. My sciatic nerve is a little better. Um, it's not like sharp full pain. It kind of gets achy sometimes. Um, I've been like kind of heating it, heating, using like a heating pad like at night and stuff like that on my back because I get like back aches. Sometimes I try not to do too much, like bending over and stuff now is awful. So if my son loses the toy, it's, can you help me find it? Yeah, it's really hard for me. I did do my group B today at my appointment and my blood pressure was 94 over 68. So that's good, and she's seeing me every two weeks now because I'm nothing's really wrong. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully my group B will come back negative, not positive. I mean, if it does, there's nothing really I can do about it. I just need to get all those antibiotics, I guess. And I talked to her about like if feeling funny, you call them. But if my water breaks, I guess you can call or just go straight in. She said if it breaks. Usually contractions will pick up 40 to 60 minutes, so with Emmett, they didn't do that. She said, this time your body knows what's, what to do. And I was kind of going to labor at home more, but now I feel like if my water does break, I think I'll just go to the hospital because, you know, it's 40 minutes away and depending on the time of day and stuff, um, you don't really know. I don't know, it kind of made me like a little more nervous, like I don't really want to wait here and have the baby or something, so I'll just go ahead, I think. Um, when they do start getting where I can't breathe and my water is still intact, I'll still go in, not breathe, talk. <laughs> um, talk, I think that's what they say. So that's been kind of my plan. Um, I'm gonna talk to her about my placenta next time, like if it's easy to get a release form and all that stuff, I need to email the lady do it because I'll just send it in and fill out a release form and she can come pick it up. So, sounds easy, right? <laughs> and I washed all, I, I probably said this, but I washed and stripped all the diapers. I did a video and stuff about those and I prepped all my diapers, so I'm um, look out for those and coming. Uh, yeah, so now she's got clothes washed and her hospital bag is packed most of the way. I'm trying to figure out what I want to bring her home in. I haven't really found anything like super special. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Probably she'll probably change when we get home, or I mean, who knows? So <laughs> I'll probably just put like a little sister onesie in there. I do have like a Valentine's Day onesie that my mom got that I'll probably put in there. Put a couple hair bows in there and just some um, call it a day. Uh, you know, it's just <laughs> nothing special really. Because I don't really have anything like I found that I really like, I guess you could say. So, that's my problem. Yeah, like I said, pregnancy-wise, like, she just moves. i just been really kind of achy and stuff like that. And so she told me, my mother told me today that since I went in with Emmett, like, around 39 weeks, it'll probably be the same. So, if that's the case, it'll probably be, um, I'm 35 weeks today, so... Three weeks, maybe. We'll see. She did ask me if she wanted to check me today. I said no, because I really don't think I'm dilating anywhere. I think I'd be... I'd rather wait, you know, till later. So you can really know. And sometimes you could be 
for two, three, four, five, six, and you know, we're now for days and days and weeks, so I was just like, you know what, I'll just kind of wait until it gets closer to really maybe see, because sometimes checking and stuff, you can get things moving, so it really depends on where I'm at um, in a couple of weeks, so. Sorry, I've been really tired, <laughs> basically, a lot, like I want to go take a nap right now. I've been, it's like my appetite has been weird, like I've been hungry, but not hungry, and I don't know, it's been really weird. I've been craving, like, sweet things, like chocolate. Cake sounds really good right now. <laughs> Chocolate. Anything sounds really good. Oh, my son got out of his room during that time. Um, what time is it? Yeah, so that's just been my biggest symptom is just like craving. I don't want like a piece of chocolate. I want like desserty type stuff. Like hot chocolate sounds really good, so maybe I'll make that. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Yeah, I'm just, um, I got really emotional at my appointment. There was this, like, and it was watching this, like, Daniel Tiger thing about he loves the baby and just, like, getting really kind of emotional about that. Like, and it's not going to be my only child anymore. And, um, I don't necessarily feel, like, overwhelmed yet. Uh, I do a little bit because I don't know where Emmett's going to be going. While I'm in labor, me and my husband talked about it, and we might just have to bring him to the hospital, as weird as that is. And I mean, it'd be nice to have a somebody there, but to be honest, my first labor, I did by myself. I was kind of strapped to the bed. I Ben really couldn't do anything, and he really didn't do anything, and like I'm trying to think, what can he do this time? Besides like rub me and touch me and stuff, I may not want that, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I kind of have thought about this whole time. I'm gonna be doing it alone, basically. Um, Cause I kind of do it alone. I mean, there's nothing, like he can't ease me in any way, you know? Like, I mean, he maybe help me, I mean, hold my hand and stuff like that's nice, but um, and I don't want him missing the birth either. So there's like a lot of, things going on about that um but yeah I just like sat in the office and just like cried and cried and cried and cried and cried um so I don't know I've just been like a really emotional day but anyways I guess I gotta go and thanks for watching and I'll show you my belly bye yes Emmett Lee huh what are you doing Amy and Nobby? here's my belly 35 weeks, my belly button still hasn't poked out, it poked out with Emmett. Oh, here goes my phone.